Hey crafty friends, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by for a visit. Today I'm going to share with you five of my favorite crafting tools and one storage must-have that's new to me and possibly new to you. So stick around to the end and I'll show that to you. So one of the first things I love best is cross-locking tweezers. Now these, not everybody has these, and I realize that, but these are so handy in the craft room. And I have a pair, but I've lost some. Some have sort of fallen apart, and they're not terribly um, cheap. They're kind of expensive, but I found these on Amazon. And these are actually meant for people who work on electronics, like computers that need to get into tight spaces and work with tiny screws. But these are perfect for the craft room as well. They've got a sharp point. They're pretty long and I'll show you a picture comparing them to some of the other crafting tweezers that we have but they're long and pointy and they come in a pack of six so they're pretty affordable and I, ha I will have links to everything down below but this is what they look like compared to the craft tw tweezers that you and I probably have in our craft stash. So the next tool I really like, or tools I should say, are Teflon bone folders. I used to not know what all the rage was about having a Teflon bone folder, but you can see this one has a tip and a curved edge here to give you a nice smooth crease on your paper without causing this really weird shine on the back of your paper. And then this one here is comfortable and it's got an ergonomic hold and they both work really well and it comes in a pack of two. So I was really excited to try these out. So this one allows you to hold it in a comfortable grip and does a really nice job with scoring, as you can see here. And then the stick uh, type of Teflon Bowden folder also does a beautiful job as well. And it creates a nice crease. And when you use the curved flat edge of it, like I'm doing here, you can see that there's no shine to my paper and that is a bonus. So these next two craft tools I'll demonstrate together, and the first is the non-stick titanium scissors that you see here, as well as the glue and adhesive eraser. These two are perfect. Well, the scissors I love best because they're titanium, so they're really durable, and they're non-stick. So most of us use scissors to cut adhesive strips or liners, that sort of thing, and we get residue on them. So you can see my scissors here are pretty dirty, and they need to be clean. So rather than going to the sink and washing them, I'm just going to use this adhesive adhesive eraser to remove all of that gunk that's on that part of my scissors. And you want to be careful when you're doing this and definitely put the scissors facing away from you and scrape it so that you don't accidentally cut your glue adhesive eraser like I'm doing here. And you'll see that when I show these up to you pretty close right here, you can see all that residue is gone and they're completely clean. So I do need to turn it to the other side and actually remove the residue as well on this side as well. So while I'm cleaning the rest of my scissors, the reason I have been sort of missing in action for a while is because I'm completely revamping part of my craft room where I actually do the crafting. It was getting a little bit uh, overwhelming with everything on the desk, so I redesigned the whole thing. I built a couple of uh, overhead cabinets that are going to go on the wall. And if any of you guys would like to see that, please let me know in the comments below, and I'd be happy to kind of give you a little brief uh, overview of the before and after. Okay. So that's the scissors and the eraser. Next are these petal makeup brushes. I love these things. I found these on Amazon and what I like about them is they come in a pack of four. They're extremely affordable. And at the time that I purchased them, they were around $3.99 per brush, um, just to give you an idea. So what I like about this is they come in their own clear case. They're compact, but look at these bristles. They are super densely packed, and I wasn't sure how well they would do with blending um, the inks, ink pads that I had, so I decided to give it a test. I'm gonna be using some of this beautiful green Distress Oxide ink, and just swirling the brush here, and just to make sure that the brush bristles didn't fall out and they were all intact. And I was just amazed. Look at that beautiful blending that this does. So of course it's not enormous and round, but it certainly packs a punch and has this ergonomic design on it so that when you hold the brush, it's really comfortable. And um, and I just, I have to say, I really, really love that it comes with those clear cases so that when you're done, if you have a brush for a particular color family, when you're done, you just wipe it off and you put it in this handy little uh, case and snap it shut and then you can put a label on the side or you can put a label on the bottom however you choose and throw it in a drawer or put them in your packing case when you want to take these on the go they are perfect I love them they come in a pack of four two black and two pink tops and I couldn't speak more highly about these 
you will definitely see me using these in an upcoming video. Okay, this next one is not a tool, but a makeup organizer. What I love about this, I was just perusing Amazon again, and I found this container that will hold your makeup brushes, because essentially what we're using to blend our inks are makeup brushes, right? What I love about this is that blue section there, that turquoise color, is actually made out of silicone, and they're shaped like petals, so they have really small areas that you can plug things in, and it has a pretty heavy base. When you have that silicone piece in there, it comes out so you can clean it easily, and then you can snap it right back in, but it holds really thin things as well. It's sturdy on the, on the surface of your work desk and when you put your brush in there it just sticks in there and stays put even if I tilt it upside down you will see that these brushes do not fall out that silicone is pretty sturdy keeps your brushes intact and you can really load these up with as many brushes as you want and I did this and I have them sitting on my desk I love this so much that I plan on going to get another one now the two colors that I saw were or the three colors I should say is this turquoise color um, then they have one that's in pink and then they have one in gray. I think I'm going to get the gray. Um, but I love this because if you like keeping things on your desk but you don't like them rolling around like your paintbrushes or things like that, this is a really good tool for an inexpensive price. Okay, that does it for me, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. Until we see each other again, ciao for now.